see this angle okay the design here it's going to be a little bit different because typically when we when we do a design on a on a clasp we want to be about a millimeter to two millimeters away from the margin but because of the angulation of the teeth here we have these issues here okay now let's do this okay so this is the key area here so the contact has to be flush here so we're going to go a little bit higher here okay all right and again this length here is good okay let's go on the other side now this is this is a case where i really really want to control of my retention so i'm not really going to put a lot of block out here because again if, if it's too loose it's a lot easier to trim than to add okay just secure this string here okay let's get the angle part okay small toro area there so we'll avoid that singulum that's our rest area don't forget okay so I just want to show you from this angle where you're going to find resistance or the most resistance it's going to be in this area here this area here so you can't you can't block it out hundred percent because once it gets into the fitting zone you could actually move it so we don't want that so we're gonna just keep some of the undercut but we're just gonna make it a little bland here on these areas so we're not going to go straight we're just going to give it some angle kind of just make it more bland than it than it is right now this is where the amount of space if you have too much space here, it's critical so you really want the contact here so just going to put a little more wax on the uh, margin it actually looks like it's straighter now, right? Not 100% straight, but it's straighter than it was. So, give you a little less finishing time. I think on this one, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's not horrible. And I'm really concerned with the, uh, the extension here. So, you could, you could assume, well, you know what? Let me just show you if you really want to block it out, what it should look like. A little better, a little better. Again, like I stated earlier, these areas here, they're not of any concern to me. So in my finishing, I may just take off some of the sharpness in these areas, but overall it's, it's not bad to the point where I really need to concern myself with blocking it out, that I can just smooth out somewhat in my finishing. But this is it, this is it.